Hey guys, how you doing? Chris Wheeler here, right on site at Cloud9 Farms. Today I'm going to be doing a, a tripod for one of my uh, throwing blocks for my, my knives and tomahawks and, and whatnot. Um, now the technique that I'm going to be using, the, the lashing portion of it, to be used for any tripod, there is a little bit difference between this tripod and most in the idea that my middle stick the one that's gonna protrude out the back, I've made it about three foot longer than my other pole. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started lashing this up. I'm hoping that I got you on camera enough where you can actually see what's going on. And uh, so here it goes. Now, uh, I wanna start on my middle stick. And what I'm gonna do here is uh, usually well, let me say usually. Usually, I would just do a simple overhand knot to hold it in place. Um, most teachings will tell you that you should put a clove hitch in. If you're a stickler for doing uh, doing things just like the book, then you're going to want that clove hitch. Otherwise, man, I just assume use an overhand knot. Uh, it holds just as well, the knot pulls just as tight at the end, uh, it's just one of those sort of things. There you go, a little overhand knot, and at that point, all I'm going to do is bring these three together, just like this, and I'm going to wrap. I'm going to do one wrap, two wraps, and I do not want this to be very tight. I want it to be kind of tight, but not very tight. I'm probably going to do about four wraps on here and the closer you can get them as far as laying across each other the better now now that I have that done I'm going to look at my working end because I'm not going to need all of this and I don't want to have to deal with it going through between the logs I think I think that's going to be more than enough for me to finish up this wrapping portion of what I'm doing All right, so now, all I'm gonna do from here is run this row under and between the first two. I'm gonna pull that in tight. Just about like so, and I'm gonna repeat. I'm going to do this frapping, I'm going to do the frapping portion three times, okay, and that, what that's going to do is pull everything in tight. And it's okay, at first, if you leave it kind of loose, or you can go ahead and pull it tight and you can cinch it up later on or you can pull it tight as you go it really doesn't matter a lot of times depending on what you work with dictates whether you can put off uh, the pulling it tight till later on or if you have to put off pulling it tight till later on All I'm going to do to make sure I pull it extra tight, I'm just going to take this like this. I'm going to wrap it around itself. I'm going to wrap it around itself again. And that gives me a nice handle to pull from. All right. Now, all I'm going to do is cross over to the next section. I'm going to pop this through. And sometimes, you'll have to separate them enough to get the fraps in there, just like that.
There we go. Now that thing there. I don't know if y'all can see any of this at all. back the other way we pull that in we pull it back so y'all can see it pull it tight now I'm gonna repeat that two more times over itself. Alright. And then one more pack. That's through. That's through. And let's pull it tight. Now, I'm going to go through one more time because my uh, tag end is on the other side. So I'm gonna flip that through. I'm gonna put the whole apparatus over. And now I'm back to my tag end. All right, so there we go. I'm going to bring my tag end over. I'm just going to finish it off with a square knot. I'm going to try to get in there as tight as I can. Alright guys, so I got my... Uh my cross support brace and that's basically the thing that's going to hold my block and uh, this is the block that I'm going to use. Now this is a, an oak block which is not is not by any means the best block. I, I would prefer to use a, a piece of pine, cedar if I could get it poplar works okay um but i have so many rounds of this oak here that i'm just going to use uh some of those up now oak is a little hard um to use as a throwing block but it, for me it's, it's really not going to make that much of a difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and square lash uh this cross support in, in place i'm going to let you take a look at that give me one second to set up the camera and we'll get started I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Got my overhand set to go ahead and start my round lashing, or my square lashing. I'm going to take this right here, my rope, and I'm just going to wrap it around this. This is going to be my spindle. This is going to help me quite a bit moving forward. All right, first thing, and actually, what I'm gonna do, on this side, before I even start that, place it there and there. There you go. I'm just going to support that one a little bit so I don't have to worry about supporting it with my hand. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to spread these a little bit. I think right there looks good. All right. Now I got my little spindle. And now this spindle is not only going to help me pull things tight as I'm doing it but it's also going to keep my working in together so that I don't have to navigate a whole bunch of rope around and over each turn all right pull it tight come again pull it tight Now 
I'm gonna use that, pull my frapping in tight, go around again, pull my frapping in tight, go around again, pull it tight. I'm gonna bring my tag in around, bring it up to here. Finish off with a square knot. Just like that. That's strong stuff right there, buddy. That's strong stuff. All right, I'm going to go grab a little bit more cordage, and uh, I'll be right back to do the other side. Alright guys, so here it is, finished up. Um, my battery went dead, so I had to start over. There's uh, other side square lashes like that. Same exact way. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can stick one for you. Now, uh, and see if I can catch it on camera while I'm holding the camera. I don't know how good I'm going to be at that. There we go. Did we get it? All right. That's good, man. Dude, tomahawks are something fun. I'll do a video on that later on about how much I really like tomahawks. But anyways, there you go. Set up. It's finished. And, uh... Be back with you soon with another video.